Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next, I like to show you that that how how works this ignition coil, and also how we can disassemble this ignition coil. This ignition coil's purpose is to generate huge spark. And next, I I take my spark plug. Okay, and here we have spark plug for this Densos spark plug and I take that spark plug away and this spark plug and ignition coil works so that that first we need to connect this spark plug in that way in this ignition coil and in that area in here we have cable set what connects this ignition coil here I have the generic, there is normally cable set what goes in here and these cables connect this, this ignition coil to this car main, this computer. And this main computer controls this ignition and sparking and so on. And then when this, this electricity comes in here, there is inside is this coil part and next we go to look that that what what it how it works and and for that purpose i i need to open that coil and this coil opening is is normally normally we don't open these coils because if this goes broken then we need to purchase new coil and these coils are actually really expensive. Like that BMW's coil, I believe that this costs something like 200 to 300 US dollars. And just now in same amount in euros. And they, these are really expensive. And there is good hint that please use always high quality and new spark plugs. Because if we use old and very big and this very long gap old spark plugs then these old spark plugs they can broke broke that ignition coil and this is important message if you like to remember one thing please use high quality spark plugs and the, this Denso is excellent ex excellent spark plug because this is Toyota's original genuine, genuine part and Toyota actually owns that company, this Denso company. And that's, this is excellent qual quality. And this Denso spark plugs works in many, many German cars and US cars also. But then, what, what, what is inside in this ignition coil? Let's go to look that. And first I take this rubber part away and let's go to look my workbench, what is in there. There is my bench in that area, and next I insert that my my ignition coil in there. And first I take my this rubber rubber part away. Okay, in that way I then a little bit compression and cool, and then I take my small tongs and when I use the tongs I believe that I can take this upper oh actually it is quite it is quite tight a little bit more compression and then rotation okay and then I believe that this part should open okay and that actually then I rotate that it moves. Good, okay. And this was first rubber this cover and there there we have this this copper part where this spark plug goes in that way. Yes, this is very very stable thing. And we can hear this sound. It is, it is very good grip. 
Okay, good. This is this is first first part. This is like spark plug holder. And then when I rotate that part, we can take this this copper thing away also. A little bit movement and then this part opens and I, I insert my I insert my this ignition coil in that position. Okay, and now it opens and there is copper this copper core base and in that spark plug holder there is small spring in their inside and let's look that closer there is this holder and then when I use spike I can take there's that this kind of interesting interesting metallic spring spring in there okay cool there was metallic spring in inside that area and it belongs in that way and then there is this when we go forward there is again this copper wire and then I think that that I can open this upper part in that that we can look this what this upper part looks like and first I take this rubber sealant out and this purpose is to keep this this ignition coil clean there is always that that kind of rubber gasket and now, now this, this thing is quite tight, but I believe that when I take my workbench and I install that ignition coil in here, that way, and then, then if I rotate a little bit that part, it opens. Okay, and then I take my tongs. And I a little bit move that part and I believe that when I rotate that little bit you can see inside. Okay, first first thing what opens it was this uh, there there are those three cable uh, cable wire connectors what were what was in here and then when we open that little bit little bit more we can see in inside area what is there inside this is really interesting to see what is there inside because okay good creep in okay now it opens and in that part this is like solid plastic and here here we can see that there is some some electric coil in there and then I open that a little bit more a little bit movement and, and we can see that what is inside Well, how this coil has been made. Not yet. Okay, this, this outer. Okay, and now, now there is this still this coil area. Okay, and actually, this coil area. Is there? Okay, it is moving. Good. I can maybe take that coil away 
and it's it's like there. Interesting. It is red. Yes, this is coil. This is like metallic tube. And let's look that more. There was this. This is quite heavy. And there is some some this is some duct tape. It protects. I believe that there is some copper thing in inside. When I okay, but I insert that in my workbench in in here that it is easier to open. Okay. Okay, and then I take my knife. I have here a knife and then I a little bit okay. Okay, and this is like duct tape, red duct tape. And then I take this cover away. And this is like copper wire in here. Okay, good. And then I take that part away. And, and we look at what is in there inside, and I think that, that if I cut that part, we can see more. I insert that in here. Okay, good. And then again my tongs. And let's look that can I can I little bit bend that. Good, yes, that was my purpose. Okay, excellent. And there, this is, this is cool. There is like, like this is copper, and there is, this is something plastic material, and then again plastic and some black thing in there. And this is like what ignition coil looks like. And I believe that in here central there is this this core spark plug cable. But let's look that again because now I have managed to open that that almost totally. And then then I insert that again in my Workbench, workbench. Okay, okay, and this is quite, quite good. It's good material, good stuff. And again, I start. This is a little bit movement. Okay, and soon we can see this. Okay, now, okay, interesting. Now there is there is something there is something. This is copper wire in here, and then there is in, install inside. This is maybe lead. Lead is this material, maybe. And it is many, many places in there. Okay, very interesting. But by the way, this, okay, and here is this, this ignition coil, what we have left. And there was inside, in this core inside, there are those small, I believe that led, led those metallic plates. And then, then there is, just in this when lead ends there is some maybe some this plastic insulation in here and then this upper area is this copper wire and, so, and this copper wire has been covered this red duct tape and, and then there was this metallic steel pipe 
and then what was then next yeah next there was that part and of course this part belongs in here where the spark plug becomes and in this upper area in here there was that connector what connects these cables in here and this was this idea that that how this how this ignition coil works and how to disassemble that part and very interesting part and thank you for watching that video and have a nice day to you